Georgia and today I'm going to be doing this sketch challenge for the Positively Papercraft Facebook group. Um, it's originally from Sweet Sunday Sketch at blogspot.com, it says on here, and this is the sketch that we've been set. Now if you're like me and you have no idea what a sketch is, then I shall tell you. These are some of the bits I'm going to be using for mine. I'll just pop it on that background so it's easier for you to see. So it's just a basic outline sketch of um, a card design. And then you kind of just do whatever you like to meet that. So this will be your card. You'll have a couple of strips of something. Something there and a circle there. And that's basically it. Anything else you can make up as you go along. So you can put whatever you like in your circle. It doesn't even have to be a circle. You could stick a butterfly there or whatever you wanted to do. So I've just grabbed a few bits in my usual style of not having a clue what I'm doing. I've grabbed a few bits and I'm going to have a go at this. So I'm using rose red because I love it. Um, I just love the colour and it's retiring. And I don't care. I'm still going to use, use it. And I'm going to use the watercolour word stamp set and I think I'm going to use just for you. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just for you onto, I think I'm going to heat emboss it in white for my circle. And my card, I'm uh, heat emboss it, yeah, the heat embossing will be white and it'll be on the rose red card. I think my card base is going to be rose red. And then it's going to have a white layer on it. Um, and then across that white layer, I think this is going to be a strip of rose red. That's going to be a circle of rose red. And then what I thought for here is, um, I'm going to do a piece, probably here, of this flower stamped onto rose red and heat embossed in white again. And then the other piece, I thought what I'd do is I'd just colour in a little strip of this um, to put that across there. Um, now, I don't really want to colour it in in rose red. Um, I'll see. You know, I'm starting to think maybe that's not such a good idea. Um or maybe it is. Or maybe I'll just leave it black and white. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll leave it black and white, but I'll just colour in tiny little sections of it using rose red. And then I'm going to be using this punch, which is the first time this punch has had an out in, just to create this bottom piece. I'm using the largest circle from the stitched stitched shape framelits. I'm using just for you from this stamp set. And... We'll see what else I use as I go along. Okay, I'm using white embossing powder and a heat tool, that's for sure. So I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to dive into this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my bits ready and then I'll tell you what sizes everything was when they're all ready. Okay, so I'll be back in one second. Okay, so we've kind of got our card laid out. The card itself is measuring eight by six and it's been scored down the middle at four. And I've just spotted, it's not quite cut through the end. So yeah, so it's eight inches by six inches and scored at four inches there. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White which measures three and three quarters by five and three quarters, which is going to sit on top. And then I've got a little piece of Rose Red, which is two and a quarter by two and a half. It's two and a quarter by two and a half. I don't I might have to change that actually, I've just realised. I'll have to change that to two. Sorry. Just realised it needs to fit in there. I'm just gonna I mean I could cut it myself, but I've got a punch and I want to use it, so I'm gonna use my punch. So that's now two by two and a half. Yeah, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slot, may as well do it now. I'm just going to use my punch for the first time 
Oh, that feels like it's gone way too far in. Let's see what happens. Oops, we lost it. Oh, cute. So that's going to sit somewhere along there. And then I'm going to pop a piece of white there. And then I'm going to colour that and pop that there. And then I'm going to have that with a white embossing on there. But what I thought I'd do was I don't want to leave all this white. So this is the only piece that's going to be left white. Now this measures um, three and three. Both of these pieces measure three and three quarters. The pattern piece measures one and a quarter. And this piece measures one and three quarters at the wide end and one at the other end. So I just put it in at one and lined that up with one and three quarters and I just cut it in my trimmer. That's the only piece that's going to remain pure white and that's going to remain pure rose red. This is going to be coloured in and this is going to be stamped. Okay, So I did change my um, idea a little bit. So this is going to be stamped using rose red ink and this flower from the watercolour words stamp set okay I like this um, this stamp set I think it's carrying over as well I think at first I thought it was going to be made put uh, was going to retire but I think it's carrying over I've seen loads of people use it and I just love it and I've meant to get it there was another one that was a little bit similar um, that is retiring. I think it's something birthday. But look, it's just, I love that it's like little hand drawings. And don't worry if you don't get your stamp in perfect because it doesn't, with this stamp, it really doesn't matter because it's sort of hand made effect anyway. And a lot of it's going to be covered up. So while I've got that out, I'm going to just get my aqua marker. I'm just going to get a little bit of scrap and make sure that my aqua marker is clean. Yep. Get a little bit of water coming down into it. And then I'm just going to use that just to colour in little bits using the rose red again just to colour in little bits of this DSP and I'm not doing it precisely at all I just want it to look sort of washed on if you like You know like when you get, um, the effect I'm kind of going for is, you know when you get, when you do stamp on, uh, two step stamping and you get like kind of a, a blurry kind of blodge like image, that's what I'm going for, a blurry blodge. I don't, I don't want it to be, I want it to be sort of splodge-like. <laughs> splodge-like, is that, um, what a great word. Is it a real word? And then, because everything's pink and white, I think we'll be well within our rights. To just grab a bit of green. And of course, I've got Emerald Envy on my desk because I've got Emerald Envy on my desk. And I've got some of this in my lid. The reason I've got Emerald Envy on my desk constantly is because it's a retiring colour. And so I'm using it quite a lot. So I'm trying to use things that are retiring. And I'm also... Um, I mean, who knows? 
I can't say for sure, definitely, but who knows if these retiring products might end up on the clearance rack at some point. That'll do. Don't want anything too major going down. So, a bit of a clean. These aqua markers are so easy to clean. Just give them a bit of a squeeze and they clean themselves. And look, they come really, they do really clean up quickly. So I love those. Um, right. So now the last thing to do then is to just heat emboss. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a little tad is to heat emboss this sentiment just for you and I'm going to do that in white onto here and I'm going to do this mark Give it a good, try and get it nice and central. I don't think Henny's come anywhere else. That's nice. If you're not sure what Versamark is, it's just, um, it's called a watermark stamp pad. I've also got a pen. And what it does is it kind of, so it's almost like an invisible ink that takes a while to dry, so it gives you a chance to um, sprinkle things onto it or to um, just a little bit of scrap paper um, to stick to it, or just let it dry and it'll just leave like a, a watermark on whatever it is you're doing um, and then just tap your powder off flick don't blow I remember seeing that on creating craft years ago before I really started crafting because I don't blow it flick it I don't know. I don't know why. I suppose blowing it just shifts it around, or maybe blowing it makes some of what you want to keep on it start to warm up. If you don't like to uh, get your fingers in the way when you're doing your heat tool, using a heat tool, what I do is I just get an old bone folder, a long one, and just hold it out of the way. Let me just whoops. <laughs> Let me just zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. You can see as the plastic, the powder is little pieces of plastic and as they melt and gel together, sort of change colour and you end up with that embossed effect and that's what heat embossing is, in case you didn't know. I'm sure you did. Right, so we can put this card together now then. Um, just wondering about... No, I'm going to leave that like that. I was just wondering about ribbon. I'm not great... I'm not a great embellishment user, to be honest. So just... My, my paper's gone... All, um, what's it? Lumpy because of my because of the heat. 
Does this look gorgeous? I think that just looks gorgeous by itself. So easy to create a lovely DSP with some of these stamps. You don't need a lot of products to be able to make something pretty. That's for sure. So I'll just lay that on. And then, where's our sketch? Oh, there it is. And then I'm going to pop this on next. And I'm going to pop that on the dimensionals. I'm going to layer it all up with dimensionals. I'm going to pop that. I'm going to pop it right on the edge. Pop it there. I mean, you can position it if you've got a flower that wasn't printed very well. You can position it to cover that. And then the white piece, I'm going to pop some dimensionals on too. And then I'm going to pop that, oh, pop it a bit higher up. Pop that there, that goes across there. I suppose if I was going to put some ribbon on anywhere, it would be on there, but I'm not, so it won't be. And then I'm just going to pop some dimensionals onto the back of this. And I'm just going to pop that over there like so and then I'm going to pop a few onto the back of my sentiment piece And so that's my take on that sketch. Um, I don't like this bit. <laughs> I think it would have been better if I'd have just left that black and white or if I'd have used some heat embossed uh, rose red. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. But I do like the heat embossing. And I do like the background, so all's not lost. Thanks for watching, and um, I think I'm going to be doing one of these every week, so um, for, for positive effect. Thank you so much for that.